Captain Bigby, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. Haven't seen her. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> You're gonna tell me, right now, but... Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lap dog. He comes sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woods. Need to shake that. Ain't that right, Bigby? Worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. I'm Detective Brannigan. Do you hear that? <gasps> please. Please. <gasps> I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. Go, now! What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up!
We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man, and people are already worried about your conduct. There's two of them, Dee and Dumb, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Bigby. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Please, try to be serious, D. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. I'm not fucking around here, D. Alright, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. 
I get it, I do. But I can't tell you what I don't know. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Come on, Big B. We both know this isn't going anywhere. I'm saving that! This is really... what's the point of this? Here. Yeah, alright. Wanna see a trick? <clears throat> Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith... I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret, you saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Anyone can see this isn't working. It's time to try a different tactic. Not yet. <sighs> you always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. I'm not sure this is really working. Let's see where this goes. What the fuck? Big B, you shit! <gasps> oh, you're done playing nice now. Is that it? Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Big B. Beauty was wrong about you. You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here?
hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened... I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible, in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Someone wants you dead. At some point, they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. That's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. 
I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me. But, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Pigby. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Big B, nice to see you. You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme, and you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. The 
Woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Snow's perfume. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. This is... weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It 
it might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself, up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? Well? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should... Keep going. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? 
That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah.